After this video, I'm going to be opening up all these that you sent me, mate. Crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sai. How the devil are you? Today, we've got a long one. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, the channel is King Frost now. All right? Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And this one is called The Scariest Videos People Caught at Night 7. I don't know what the Night 7 is. Maybe Sunday. Okay? We're going to find out. But before we look into the video, please take a little look at this, mate, because it might help. I remember when I was younger, there was a period of time in my life that I was very down, low, and depressed. And I never actually went to see anybody. And I remember thinking to myself that I couldn't. I felt like I couldn't speak to people. Like... They wouldn't understand, uh, they would see me as weak, they couldn't relate, uh, or they would just shrug it off, or I would alienate myself, you know? And it, and it was tough, it was a really tough time of my life, and, you know, I, I managed to, to come out of that um, using my own, my own sort of techniques. But I remember at the, at the time, I really, really needed to speak to somebody and I never did and I if I knew about this then I think it would have made my recovery a lot quicker so I'm really happy that today's paid partnership is better help I'm gonna really speak to you quite freely now I've seen a lot of comments on my videos about how people are going through tough times, rough times, especially the last few years. You know, there's all sorts of things that can hit us on a day-to-day -day basis. And it, it just really hits us and we don't expect it and it can affect us for a long time. So if you are feeling like something's not allowing you to enjoy life the way you think you should be enjoying life or if there's a challenge that is, is, is ahead of you and you want to learn some some ways to you know to conquer that and to f just to feel like you're fulfilled more um then i recommend that you go over to this better help R regardless whether you have clinical depression or your anxiety it, it doesn't matter better help's mission is to make therapy really accessible because finding the, a, a therapist not just a therapist but the right therapist for you can be quite difficult better help is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online it's remote and by filling out a few questions better help can match you to a credentialed therapist in as little as a few days so by hitting that link below, you're not only supporting this channel, but you're also getting 10% off your first month to BetterHelp, and that will help you connect with your therapist and see if it helps you. And just to let you know, when you do get matched to a therapist, if you feel that it's not the right one for you, you can switch at no extra cost. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy of BetterHelp, and make sure you use that link down below in the description. BetterHelp.com forward slash Caspersite. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for supporting this channel. Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, K Frost Man. Case has been shared by Pasillo, and the viewer had sent the video. The man recording was apparently attending a school event, and we can see a local band who was holding a concert at the time. We could just about see a, a band. Nothing unusual really happened that day. However, once the man was back home and was rewatching the recording, something seemed off in the background. Let's take a look. Oh my fucking god, mate! Are you kidding me? Oh, mate, look at you. Who the F are you, mate? Oh, my God. That's absolutely disgusting. Oh, it's opening into the mouth as well. Oh, my God. He's like, ah, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Just carry on. Everything's normal. Everything's normal. 
it was impossible for anybody to fit behind this TV stand, and the man oh. recording almost got a heart attack. It's me! Oh my god, it's looking even worse! ...that something sinister seems to have stared back at him. Do we have any explanation oh for this event? Oh my god! If not, was it something paranormal, perhaps? Certainly looks like a transparent ghost, doesn't it? Oh! It's the ring, bitch! Okay, we started off on a bang. Look at the state of yeah. Alright, okay. The following recording stemmed from Marcio Palmer, a student who lives alone in a haunted house. He knows there are strange things happening, so he always keeps his phone ready to record. As of why these things are going on and for how long is unknown at this point. However, some... What was that? What was that? Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge of glory. Things Listen. are going on and for how long is unknown at this point. However, some... Oh, mate, 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 mate. Okay, it's probably him, but it's, it freaked me out. Sometimes he manages to capture some of these creepy moments on camera. Another glass fell, I was getting into the kitchen. Shit, mate. This one seems familiar. Nice. That wasn't a cut there at all, mate. It wasn't a cut. Just carry on, okay? I've seen this one. And yeah, I've seen this one. I can't remember what happens though. Is that it? Again! I wouldn't watch horror, mate. <laughs> Fuck. Imagine seeing some eyeballs peering through. So I've got to watch my peas. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Oh, I skip it. I think I've skipped. Yeah. Scary for sure, but these events seem to continue. The following night, Marcio Mate. was watching some Netflix when the poltergeist activity started up again, and many people think that it had gotten worse at this point. Orb of some sort. Mate, if there's a face that goes through that frosted glass, mate, is that frosted glass? No, it's not. Oh, did he just like push that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm being quite skeptical of this one. Shh, 
get in. Hell, mate. I don't think I've seen these parts. You shall not all oh, pass. Kick it down, Rambo it. Just fucking fly and kick through there, mate. Come on, man. That, 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 was, that was the biggest cut ever. You've had your chance. I'm skipping. Mate, that was like 10 minutes long. So this video isn't going to be as long as I initially thought. <laughs> I saw all that one, though. The Urban Legend. Now we're looking at a recording from La Dimensione Oscura. He tells us that the footage... Mate, you know when shit's hit the fan, when you got to get the bloody candles out and start lighting them up, right? ...them from an urban explorer who decided to investigate a public restroom where it is said that terrifying entities appear. If that's just urban legends, is unknown, unfortunately. <laughs> Many people swear to have heard and seen really inexplicable activity in there, though. This place is located inside an isolated and abandoned building, but what this man experienced inside was apparently pretty horrifying. What, in a public toilet? Shit in hell, mate, would you have a crap in that place? Did he say a public toilet? What, what you just hang your ass over that little fucking shelf and just take a shit, do you? What? Where's the toilet? Oh, fucking hell! What the shit is that? Oh my god! What the? This is some dark web shit, mate. Oh, fuck you! That's the grudge, bitch. Oh my god! Mate, my eyes feel like they're on a bouncy castle or something because I don't know what the hell's going on here. That's what happens if you don't flush the chain. That thing appears. <sighs> It's like the scene from Saw. <laughs> okay, hello, hello. Look at you, mate. Look, at, imagine seeing that. Imagine having a crap, going for the toilet roll, looking down and seeing that shit looking at you. Oh my god! We can. Okay, I think it's nothing to do with a toilet, by the way. All right, I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's probably nothing to do with a, 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 a toilet. Right, so just leave your comments, okay? See three different entities. Three Jesus! That appeared one after the oh other. Oh my three god! Or a poor explorer. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Is that the face? Or is that the face and that's the long arms? Like, what the hell is going on here? The man then told us that supposedly several people lost their lives inside this abandoned building. I can imagine! This, of course, causes some people to believe that these apparitions could be related to these unfortunate incidents. But this could all just be ghost stories, of course. It's hard to say. Flip it now. Another haunting. Now we are looking at the case of Sydney, a dedicated mother who runs the TikTok account Salt Sage. She usually 
She usually uploads videos around her family and she provides tips on hair, beauty, exercise, and her beloved. Look at her playing with her ring. <laughs> Toby hula hooping. However, at some point, oh, she's Sydney good. started uploading some rather unusual content. Eerie clips uncovering unsettling events in her house. Let's take a look. SpongeBob night. That's ceiling. Oh, 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 it's Liam, magic. Liam, come here. Liam, c right now. What is happening? Oh okay, my I'm god. Your mom. Just stay right here. Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna make this really quick. Um, a lot of you have suggested that there is somebody underneath the table pulling a string and making the rocking chair move. So, string! I'm gonna show you the table real quick. Oh wow, there's a shelf down there. Hi everybody, um, I'm Audrey, I'm the babysitter who was in the first video that you saw about with the rocking chair um, and I am so scared right now because you, I'm, we're going to show you a video um, of what happened this evening. Um, I was babysitting again, just me and Liam and Braylon. Um, Liam and I are just sitting on the couch watching a video, Braylon's on her phone um, and then some stuff, some crazy stuff starts happening. Is she got a filter on? Is her eyes absolutely that massive, mate? Look at the eyeballs. Look at the eyes. I'm just going to say the video is untouched, unedited. There's nothing going on. There's some weird noises. You're going to see that we didn't react to it. We didn't hear it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's happening when I'm just, when I, it's just me babysitting, but something weird is happening. Oh no, I have, uh, I've seen this one. Is this when the girl starts smiling? But they all seem pretty damn casual right there, don't they? It's gotta be something coming down the stairs. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Shush. Oh. Yeah, see that this girl's smiling. See, I don't know. I don't know about this one, mate. This night, Audrey and the kids were spooked out. Watch, by watch, watch this girl. She starts smiling, like you know. Seems a bit dodgy. Following events. Something seemed to have thrown several items down the stairs, and nobody really had any explanation for this. Of course, See? the family was certain that this must have been of paranormal nature, and they didn't really know what to do at this point. There's literally something on top of the stairs throwing something down, I think. I don't think that's a ghosty roasty. Sydney and Liam here. Um, you all probably remember Liam. He witnessed the rocking chair thing. That was crazy. Um, anyway, just wanted to tell you guys, like, I'm not here to convince anybody um, to believe in it. That's totally fine if you don't. Um, I appreciate your opinion. Yes. Okay, well, that seems pretty legit. Like, what she's saying? She, oh, is. she wants to talk too. Um, but I did want to show you guys something that was sent to me a few days after I sent after I um, posted the original video. Um, this was sent to me from the old owners of this house, um, their granddaughter. So before, <laughs> like a, a video footage of the of the the old owners just going, get out of there, please! Don't sleep there, whatever you do, and don't look in the mirror past nine o'clock. My family and I moved in, which was two and a half years ago. Um, before we moved in here, this house was actually built on a graveyard same family um, ever since it was built and it was built in 1924 so this is the old footage that they sent them oh what is that sound as well 
it would appear that whatever is residing in their home is stuck to this place for quite some time already, given that even the former owners could witness these strange and creepy events unfold. So let's see how this case will develop, but it's pretty clear that something otherworldly must be going on in here. Hmm. Yes, but... Okay, in bed. The following video was shared by Reddit user CalmCap and the incident has unfolded in his own home one night. When enjoying the last half an hour before falling asleep in his bed, the user states that he had been dealing with strange shadow sightings ever since moving into his new home. Oh. And apparently it has gotten worse after he started watching paranormal TV shows before bed. He has a security camera in his bedroom which is filming non-stop in case of emergency. Calm almost suspects that these shadow sightings were only playing out in his head until this night. Concerning the lights in the other room, he states, I used my laser light projector. I bought it to project stars on the ceiling. Okay. I just set it on its side so I'd be able to see if the means would be broken by what I've been seeing. Okay. Well, let's watch. Shit in hell, mate! Oh, hell no, mate. Oh, hell no. Most people would get the F out of there. Now, I would ramble it. Okay? I would ramble it. But holy k yeah. Here I am. A strange shadow can be seen. Blocking the light from the other room. Hey, it's like it's crawling on the effing wall or something, the ceiling even. But how is that possible? Nobody else was up at the time. Ooh. Many other commenters are sure that Calm has captured something inexplicable that night, which makes this capture so much more creepy. Mm. How would you explain this? Do you think it's a paranormal encounter? Or something different. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Said, well, we, nobody would know, will they? Hey? Kitchen encounter, mate. Let's go. Now we want to check out another CCTV recording, which was shared by Howie Roll on his very own channel. They have a camera mounted in their kitchen area to check up on the animals and to make sure that no strange things are taking place. After all, there's been a lot of break-ins lately in their neighborhood, but they also state that some nights they can hear weird footsteps and even moaning. Oh, moaning, mate. Moaning, moaning, moaning. That's got to be the worst, right? Would moaning be worse or footsteps be worse? Leave your comments below and we'll find out today. Never saw anything, nor was anybody else in their home at the time. This night, when their CCTV sent them a motion detection message to their phone, they were quite in shock after they realized that something must have entered their home without them noticing. Right. Or maybe it has been there the whole time. Shush! Shush! Oh, hell fucking no! Oh my god! Ugh. As soon as the camera switches into natural light mode, there's a strange shadow figure making its way towards the left in the back. Oh! What is going on here? Howie and his family were not up at the time, and in their minds it had to be something paranormal. Many oh people do actually believe God. that this video could, That's like somebody with long hair. could be proof for them that <clears throat> something otherworldly is living in their house. But who can say for sure what it was? It's very unsettling though. Oh mate, that's creepy as shit. Our place is haunted. The following incident was documented by a young couple living in an apartment that is rumored to be haunted. They yeah, not rumored, mate. You got fucking handprints on your bloody bed. Have been encountering. And how dusty is your bed, mate? If that shit's happening. Strange and eerie sounds, and even mysterious handprints appearing on their bed and doors that inexplicably open on their own. What is 
Desde hace rato estoy escuchando que alguien está intentando abrir la puerta. Escucha. ¡Ah! ¡Ay! Oh, look at the look at the hands, mate. Look at the maximum fingers. That's one of those things where you, where you brush it this way and it goes silver, and you brush it that way and it goes back to the color. I know it's not dust, okay? Carl, where's Carl? Oh fuck! Oh, please, 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 open up the curtains now. Is that children singing? Humming or whatever? She's shitting it, mate. She is shitting it. Oh. No mames, amor. Amor, amor, no mames. No mames, no mames. Mate, who fucking cut that door? Who cut that door, mate? Like, you need to get a new measuring tape. No seas mamón. Amor, ¿qué pido? Está volviendo a pasar. Amor, no mames. Shush, shush, shush. Acabamos de grabar la puerta. La acabo de cerrar. Creemos que se va a volver a abrir porque se escucha. She is not having any of this, is she? <laughs> Literal se acaba de escuchar un ruido. No. Hello. Oh, come on in. Come on in, mate. Come on in. Yeah. Oh mames. Amor. Oh no, mames. fuck, mate. This is weird. This is not good. No. Ma no, 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 mami. These terrifying occurrences are happening more frequently. Leaving the Mate, would you stay, like if that loop was legit and you woke up and you saw handprints on the effing bed like that, mate? Are you having a laugh? Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Deeply unsettled. In one of the recordings, they capture something peculiar moving under the sheets, but it vanishes the moment no. it lifts. No, them. no, 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 no. Oh. oh my What the actual F is going on here? Some sorcery shit. Some sorcery shit is going on over here, mate. I'm telling you. Then in the bathroom, a dark figure suddenly appears and disappears as soon as the door opens. Oh no, no. Revealing the same no. claw marks seen before. The burning question is, what exactly is haunting their place? I think or, I missed it. if it's not something paranormal, what else could possibly explain these inexplicable oh, that events? Bit? Okay. What was that? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Hey, this is good. Bad Bobby Gamer BBG has noticed some unusual smoke in his apartment. Besides hearing the strangest noises this morning, he grabs his cell phone to document and to look for help on the internet right after. Since he wasn't an expert in this field, he needed to know what exactly this activity was. What was that? I don't know, let's go and have a look. Come on around the corner and have a look. What? What, the orb? I, I, I don't... What the fuck am I looking at? 
Yes, it could be dust or orbs. Oh, and all. Just something else shortly after. What? Oh, wow! It appears that a transparent figure is walking across the I floor. thought it was like a shine on the wall or something, but it's not. It's a figure, mate. What do you think? A spirit may... Ooh. I don't know. Unset. Unfinished building. TikTok user King Pablo was planning on spending a spooky night in an abandoned building complex, which he thought would be a great idea. It was planned to be hosting his Halloween special. Well, at least he's got dog tags on, mate, when his body needs to be recovered. And his fans were excited. While he is scouting on... No, 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 you, 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 you see a, a loose being and he's sprayed on the wall, mate. That's not a bloody good sign, is it? The perimeter during the day. He talks about the different rooms and how unsettling everything is. Even during daytime, the building is just partly finished, so there are many rooms that are literally bricks without anything else. On the second floor, he keeps investigating and talking about his Halloween plans. Oh my god, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. I saw the shadow bastard. Oh my god! It looked about eight foot tall. At some point, there seems to be an unidentified shadow right oh, behind him. Oh, wow! But you can't time that shit. Look at, look at you. Who the F are you, mate? Never missed le neck day. This shadow seems to float pretty fast, and it looks like it's disappearing through the wall. Oh! Pretty mysterious. Could it be real? Mm. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Okay. Next to my truck. This video comes from Reddit user Flickscreen. He caught this footage late one night with a security camera outside his house that monitors his vehicles. He claims that there have actually been strange occurrences regarding this truck before, including the tailgate opening on its own one day, for really no reason at all. He also has a running joke that the truck is haunted or cursed, although he says he's not sure if these are just jokes anymore. Let's see what happened. What was that? The footage clearly shows the driver's side door of Flick's truck opening oh, on its own, which is creepy enough. However, viewers noticed that there appears to be some sort of apparition yeah. directly next to the door. Yeah. It's important to note that the uploader also specified that this never happened to this door before, and mechanically there's really no reason for this to occur. It the strange shadow can clearly be seen drifting towards the truck and evaporates only moments before the door opens. Oh, okay. I thought it was just a bottom bit, but now with a maximum enhancement, mate, it's just somebody in a hoodie. This is a spirit caught on camera. Maybe the entity messing with the truck of his. That's just somebody in a hoodie. Very interesting capture. That's just like, um, that could be easily done with just bringing a double layer and bring the opacity down. Like, down to like 5% or something. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then fade out. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Signs and signals. Now take a look at an investigation by signs and signals. Their previous visit to this abandoned home, the duo found a mysterious box there. Not knowing what it was, they brought it home and opened it. Many viewers, however, wa wax still wet. <laughs> warned the pair that the box appeared to resemble a debug box, an item that is haunted by the spirit of someone who has passed on. According to legend, the spirits that inhabit these items also have the ability to possess people as well. The man decides that the best course of action is to return the box to exactly where they found it. Let's see what happened. Alright, so Dave is going to make the new seal. 
Just do what they have here. Mate, you're pouring a circle of salt on the ground. Take a step back and look what you're bloody doing, okay? With a box which is waxed up. That's not a good sign, buddy, okay? What are you doing? Put it back. They had it in the middle. Okay. Um... <sighs> We need you to get back in the box. Dude, did you fart? No, I smell that too. That stinks. Dude, that smells so bad. I know you farted. No. That smells pretty bad. It is often said that when a foul smell inexplicably appears in a haunted location, that a demon or other nefarious spirit is actually very close. And it is the smell of death itself you are smelling. These were not the only strange occurrences of the night, however. Dude, this shit's on the ground now. It's on the ground. Dude, it's spinning, man. Dude. Up there and not, like, fall into pieces. Dude. What? Oh, it fell? It fell down, did it? Near the end of the investigation, they unknowingly captured this chilling sight. Do some crazy shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. Look all the hell that they <laughs> Hey, get some fucking clothes on, mate! Straight up, bro. That's some... I ain't messing with you. What? Slow it down, mate. Come on. Maximum enhancement. Oh, In the back yes. Room of the room, a strange shadow can be seen. It seems the man didn't notice it while filming. Oh, However, when see, it's so dark. It's so dark. Would they have, like, they would have, if it was fake, they would have looked back at the footage and gone, that, that's way too dark, mate. You can't see anything. Unless they were relying on the enhancements of people. I don't know, man. Look closer. It definitely appears to be in the shape of a person. Yeah. Is it possible this shadow figure is related to the box that the team returned to the home? Luckily, it doesn't seem the spirit attached itself to either man, as is the risk with meddling with haunted objects. Oof. Make sure to give signs and signals a watch if you can. Hmm. Freaky deaky. In the forest. The next clip stems from the dark dimension. It was filmed in Japan and features a couple of friends out for a hike in a dense forest. Get ready, peeps. Get ready. This is going to go off. It's a bloody nut. It looks like they are facing some <clears throat> Japanese shit terrain. is crazy. Although perhaps the hiking trail is the last of the man's worries. Strange cries seem to be coming from somewhere near them in the forest. However, they don't sound like the normal cries of a hiker in need of aid. <laughs> oh. oh, mate, if you heard that in the forest, <laughs> okay, you'd be gone. You'd be gone. Creepy, right? The strange sounds don't seem to scare the friends off, though continue to search for whatever the cause of the chilling sound is. Let's see what they capture. <laughs> oh my god, mate! Oh fuck! Oh! <sighs> Fucking grudge bitch, mate. <laughs> The spirit of a woman can be seen suddenly. It's a kid, you. Why do you seem so unhappy, mate? Eh? Is it your pale complexion? Is it because you're bloody dead? Behind one of the men, and then suddenly disappears as fast as she arrived. This must clearly be the cause of the wailing, right? Oh, God. Whatever this was, who knows? No way to know for sure. But has she got a chin, or is it just the top bit? But a little bit scary, though, wasn't it? Yeah. In the forest again! I told you this Japanese shit, mate, is on another level. The video comes from Adrian Gomez, who does not usually post paranormal content. Rather, his channel features mostly nail art and some personal videos. 
However, this video he posted in 2020 is definitely creepy. Adrian captured this footage in his office from his new home. As you can see in the video, he hasn't even finished unpacking yet. Adrian yeah. hears some strange sounds coming from his new office. Hey, that's some hardcore packing. My shit goes in the black bag, round the way, let's go. And decides to film a bit. But it doesn't anymore because I've got a wife, so everything has to be like marked, labelled, put in a box, coloured box, clear box, vacuum bags. Let's see if the camera will pick anything up to explain what he's hearing. Let's watch what he caught. Que lo que se que que se ve ahí? Que se ve? Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fucking hell, mate! Again! A small child can be seen peeking out from behind the wall. With glowing eyes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay? Only briefly. And seems to disappear as soon as she realizes Adrian is there. This is no ordinary child toy. I'll be so happy that I haven't unpacked. Ever. Her skin appears pale and grey, and her eyes shine in an inhumane way when she faces the camera. Adrian is sure that this is the spirit of a child, as no one was home at the time other than him. And there was no way for anyone to get in without him noticing. Ghost sightings of children can often be unnerving, as mm. malicious spirits have often been known to take on the appearance of a young kid to appear mm. less threatening. What do you think happened here? A negative energy? Maybe it was just a friend after all. Really hard to say. Freaky deaky, mate. That's what we're talking about. Anyway, on with the uh, unwrapping of the presents you sent me. Huh? Let's uh, take a look. Okay, numero uno. Let's have a little look, shall we? Please? Oh, I've I got a book, mate. Is it another book from Lower? What's this? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. New Testament. Someone bought me. Someone got me. The Bible? Oh! Nobody. Nobody. Like, okay. No name. New Testament. You know what? I've tried giving the Bible a, a, a read. But I will give it another go. I'm going to try and give it another go. Oh, hang on. There's a note at the beginning. I don't know who that... I don't know who that name is. But thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. This name down here. I can't quite read it. But thank you so much, mate. I got myself a barbell. Right. Yeah, I'm going to get through these quite quickly. Because um, we got a lot to get through. And... Yeah. Oh, we got a t-shirt, mate. We know we got a t-shirt, mate. It's wrapped in this. Love your channel and watching all your freaky deaky content. Peace and love from Queens, New York, baby. Come on! <laughs> hey! Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. With the Casper site, mate. Oh, buddy. Oh, mate. Thank you so much. Yeah? Like it. John, cheers, mate. And it's a pleasure, by the way. <laughs> Oi! You can't say that. Jeepers, jeepers, beepers, mate. History seekers. Yes, man. Hey, do you know what? I'm sorry it's taking so long to open this. Make sure you go to their channel, subscribe and do the thing, mate. Jeepers, beepers, mate. Thank you so much, man. That's for a nice, nice t-shirt. Jeepers, beepers. History seekers. Ah, oh, man. They, those guys are... Don't read this bit out. Okay, yeah, I won't read that bit out. I've got a uh, Judy Hench, and I've got a, I've got to cover, <laughs> I've got to cover the bit out, right? <laughs> Judy Hench. Dear Casper, like, that's what she said. I love your shows, and you're utterly awesome. Thank you so much. I also know someone who's got black eyes. Is he's my cousin? He never liked him. We never liked him as he was a bit of an old, an oddball. We used to be scared of him while we were kids and always had a white grey mist following him. What the? Are you sure, mate? He lives in a castle now on his own. He's got no friends. That's what she said. Anyway, Ben, you're, you're a star 
and you keep us happy and entertained. You're witty. No wonder that poor... I feel really bad for that poor kid, mate. Go round his house and knock on and say, hey, 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 forget about your eyes. How the devil are you? All right? Maximum headphones, please. <laughs> hey, mate. Maria Hackett. Maria Hackett, mate. Muchas gracias. I appreciate that. And go around and see that person, okay? I am dying to open this. Like, maximum set. Like, I need to get shares in sellotape, mate. Because this is, like, maximum. What the hell is this? Where does this come from? Australia, mate. Oh, my God, mate. Me and Inca. You flaming glass. What the hell? If anybody does want to send me anything, my P.O. box is in the description. <sighs> I'm not going to get scissors. I'm not going to let this thing defeat me. I'm going to use my little screwdriver. Okay. Make sure you go and check out my other videos as well, you know, the little short stories and stuff, real stories. Freaky deaky, man. Give them a go because the people who look watching them are actually liking them. So, I'm going to be doing that. I will be doing more, more conspiracy theories as well soon as well. Look at the state of this. Yeah, I think we're getting there. It's better be bloody good. Bloody hell, man. This is going to turn out to be the biggest sellotape ball in the world. It's like the elastic band ball. Where is that elastic band ball again? Is that like Arizona or something? You know, the biggest, the world's biggest elastic band ball. What is that? Arizona. Not me. I love Monopoly. Oh, oh, mate. <laughs> love from Vanessa. Maximum kisses. Not sure my missus that. Monopoly, mate. Look how good the bloody things are. Australian Monopoly. Absolutely. And I absolutely. Who doesn't like Monopoly? Who doesn't? Nobody. Oh my god. I love retro shit. Yeah, boy. Let's go for the cup. Nice. Oh. B for Ben. Jack and Vanessa, mate. Thank you. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to open these up. Oh, do you know what? My missus, oh my god. My missus is not going to be jealous anymore, right? Because we've got a fridge magnet. She's got this thing about fridge magnets. Look at that. That is so nice. We, ha we haven't finished yet. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hang on a second. I can't get over how generous you are. I cannot, I, I just can't. Ned Kelly, let's go. Oof. Yeah. To Ben, thank you for making us shit ourselves and all the funny moments. My ha ha, my ha ha loves you so much. My ha ha loves you so much. Oh, my nana. My nana lo <laughs> I love Vanessa and Jack. Wow. Thank you so much, both of you, man. That is absolutely a lovely thing that you've sent me all the way from Australia. I cannot believe it. Thank you. I really appreciate every single gift. I made something for you as a thank you for giving me my life back. I lost both my parents and my grandson. Oh, my God. All back, uh, back to back. I was lost and felt completely alone. Then I found your channel. I felt like I was there with you and you were watching everything together i find myself laughing out loud and responding to your random questions so i made this for you your sayings into it into a, a story to match your picture i hope you like it sending love and prayers you and your family for, thoughtfully amber para amber para i'm so sorry about your losses i am so sorry and i'm so glad that the videos make you feel a little bit better I really appreciate it. CS. Let's go. Oh, oh. CS, mate. Look. And we've got the Rambo here. It was built. 
in a graveyard. <laughs> it was freaky deaky. So I ramboed it. Left, right, center, willy nilly. Now I'm gone. I'm gone. I like that, mate. I like that. Yes, man. Oh, man. That is so nice. Thank you. A maximum. In the dark corners. Oh, a collection of eight chilling stories. Oh, mate. Okay. Okay. Mate, that's your very own book. Like it, mate. Congratulations on your book, buddy. Jordan Monsell. Wow, okay. Right, so you can find that book on Amazon. It was built on a graveyard. <laughs> Mate, thank you so much, man. That's going to be a good fit as well, mate. I might have to... Right, I am in the middle, by the way, of um, creating my new website with full-on new merch, okay? So don't you worry. It's coming, like, within a week or two. Maximum two. Probably within a week, okay? Hey, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Paul Hamilton. Here, a little gift to help you open all your mail, Ben, from Paul Hamilton. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I should have opened this one first, really. Look at the nice box. Hey, eh? that's what she said. <laughs> Let's go. On guard. Sea gems. Mate, that is absolutely beautiful. That's beautiful, mate. That is nice. It's not a patch on all the other incredible artwork you've been sent. But I've included a little doodle. Love Sarah and Stuart. Hey! Hey! Mate, that ain't, that's not a doodle. That ain't a doodle, mate. Let's get freaky deaky. Oh, man. Thank you so much. All this, like, effort you guys put in, man. Sarah and Stuart. Look at you. Huh? Look at the state of you. And your bloody doodles, mate. Maximum doodles. Look at this. Fragile and fragile. Oh my. Oh, wow. Holy moly. What? Look at the, look at the, it's the, it's the bead things. It's the bloody bead things, mate. Oh my God. That is Incredible. Holy moly, guys. I love the color. Man, that must have took absolutely ages. Did you do that yourself? Or do you have to get somebody to do that? Which took about two to three days to do. I hope you like it, of course. We want to thank you for being the most awesome YouTuber that ever going on YouTube. You bring a lot of laughter into our lives. Keep up the maximum awesomeness, please. Kind regards, Samantha and Mark Stenning, mate. Thank you so much. Amazing. Keep up the bloody good work, mate. Keep up the good work. Come out. Nice, mate. Mate. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What the hell? This is wood, mate. This is wood. And hang on. You No, wait. It doesn't finish. It doesn't finish, mate. Ready? Run! <laughs> oh my god, mate. This is fucking amazing. What? Oh my goodness gracious me. How epic is that? Oh 
Oh my god. Thank you for all the laughs, Casper Sight. From the biggest fan. Casper Sight, just a little gift from two of your fans. Huge fans at that. We love how you make us laugh and look forward to your reaction videos. My husband is an artist, clearly, again, and will come up with a little something we thought you would like you would love. From Kitty that Kitty K38? Kathy? Husband Jamie from Canada. Oh wow, that is I love it. I love it, mate. <laughs> oh my god. What little letter? Hang on. Little letter. I love your videos, Casper site. I'm gone, I'm gone. By Roselia Trike. Trice? Mate! Is that Rose? Is that Trice? I think it's Trice. Roselia Trice. Mate, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And a butterfly at the back. Wow. I'm over whelmed mate this is absolutely crazy thank you so much and again i'm so sorry that i took bloody ages opening these up all right be maximum busy thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys are absolutely awesome i hope you like the video and please remember if you did subscribe and do the thing and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye